minutes in, we could finally start going back and forth with things. Because I have some stories I gotta do there, still things to do here. At some point, I need to get my money back. Brutal out here. The if we agree to help catch the hitman on an hour. I wanted to let you know the office that received a hitman info and hitman in there. Down there. Stop there at the monorail. Okay. I mean, I haven't really been doing a lot of that hitman stuff. But, you know. Go down. No. Oh. Into the diet building? Mm -hmm. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Back to the, get to go to the amazing sweet potato smoothie land. I'd like to go to the airport. That cost me thirty thousand yen to get there. Motherfucker, man! I'm getting. I'm running out of money. I'm nowhere near getting to please the ladies with my orange juice orders and uh, chocolates and other random food. You and yours. Sweet test we did. Then tell me that and see how First things first, I'll need to find Toma. I want to stop by the orphanage. Kids would be thrilled to see I'm back in town. Student farming couldn't be going better. Raise some real weapons. Farm two or five than ever. Yep. Wow. Awesome. If I come to think, I did invest in that. Downtown. It's not far from here. Should head over there later. North downtown Ruku. All right. I mean, there's also just a ton of fucking things to do. Public market's got something. Like I can't zoom out. So here's got stuff. Oh man. So many adventures. No, that hostess hugs out are both wonderful girls, but in the end, I know she's the one for me. No, you're in the w you're in the way if you stand there, right? Oh, Sensei, you're here again. God, fucking damn it! You again, on to yet another girl? No, I just couldn't get the girl from the burger joint out of my mind. The woman in Atsubachi was pretty, but she didn't like younger guys. I guess it was totally my type, but she's your wife. Uh, no, you got that completely wrong. In the end, the hamburger girl is the only one for me. Even after all that, when I went to buy a burger, she still said hi to me and gave me this big, beautiful smile. I mean, it is a smile burger, is it not? That smile melted my heart, and when she la handed me my change, she held the coins almost like she wanted to hold my hand instead. Again, I don't know about that. That's when I knew she was the one. Destiny must have drawn us together. You're in for some disappointment in life. So I decided to ask her out again. But don't worry, since I have learned from what uh, what to do from you. I'll go. I'll ask her myself. Good luck with that. Well, here I go. You're going to order another burger, aren't you? Can't help but worry about him. It's this fucking guy. Kid. Whatever. How's it sweet, kitty son? Just want to fill you in with some juicy deets. You know how some actually got tons of interesting little people roaming around there. Let me tell you, speaking of this old dude, you might want to fight. Just concentrate real hard. Yeah. Alright, when I'm in the area, I'll, I'll figure it out. I, I've i liked you ever since the moment I met you. It would be an honor if you'd go on a date with me. Um, I'm at work. Could you not talk to me right now? That's fine, could you give me an answer when you get off work? <laughs> oh, look, are they in love? You're gonna make me puke, you stupid brat. 
I'm making customers wait around for your stupid shit. Come on, get the fuck out of the way. What are you doing? I'm in the middle of a very important conversation here. Yeah. Fuck did you just say to me? What do you think? You're tough? Come on, Hineki, let's fuck him up. I'm gonna wait this out. See what happens. The moment here could this moment could make or break it for him. Hold on a sec. This is the first time I ever asked a girl out. Huh? <laughs> True, she was pretty damn cute. How about it, sweetheart? Forget this loser and come hang with us. Sound good, right? Yeah, in fact, I think it's gonna be my order. One cute part-time burger girl combo to go. Please stop this. So when I have I need a manager over here. Stop it. Don't you dare lay a Not hand yet? on her. Shut your trap. Make like a tree and leave, you short fuck. Shit. Sense it. You were pretty manly out there. Let me take over for now. Hey, this kid's a friend of mine. You got something to say, then say it to me. Oh, you're the gentleman from before. The hell, you ain't got nothing to do with this old man. Don't cause trouble for the staff and customers. You want to argue? Let's take it outside. You got some balls, asshole. Stop pretending to be cool, you old fart. I, that's just the sweet potato smoothies. I'm, that's not... I, I, I just have gas. This fucking dude walking by. We're pissed off because we're starving. You picking a fight, old man? Because we'll beat the shit out of you. Looks like diplomacy isn't going to cut it. Guess I'll have to do this the old-fashioned way. Time to give them service with a smile. What'd you just call me? I don't think you can say that. <laughs> oh, there you go. Where'd you get that? There you go. Work out the kinks in your back and your face. That was my turn. They're asshole inside out. Yeah, see, I worked out his back. You gotta work on your posture when you're eating. Fucking shit. You look like you could use a seat. Sit down. God. I'll get you for this. Just you wait. We're never coming back here again! You shouldn't use violence to solve your problems, huh? I mean, it's our fault for having that conversation at the register. We made everyone wait for us to finish talking. No wonder they were mad at us. Yeah, you got a point there. What do you think? Was his way the right way to handle that situation? Uh, like he's having trouble finding the right answers. All right, then. I'll watch and let him handle this. Think he handled that the right way? I, I don't think he handled it the wrong way at all. Huh? I'm not strong like Sensei here, but I know that sometimes you have to use violence to solve problems. You have to do just what he did here. It's not right. Violence isn't the answer. What is right to you if the person I loved was in danger? I'd do anything to protect them. I don't think it's right to use violence to hurt someone, but I do it to protect the person I love. I know it's hard to believe since we've only just met, but I really do like you a lot. That's why I was willing to do anything I could to protect you from those punks. I know, but it caused so much trouble for the shop, and for me, I'd rather you not. Right, I get it. I wouldn't want to cause some, tr uh, so cause more trouble by you asking me out like that again. So if you, if so, if we could start off as friends, I think about going on a date with you sometimes. Huh? You mean? I mean, it took me off guard, but I'm sure it took a lot of courage to ask me in front of all those people. Then you'll just as friends, okay? It's up to you to convince me to be anything more than that. All right, I did it, Sensei. Good job, kid. And after your shift's over, then let's go to the Blue Sail, sail Parlor. Then to Sam's Wide after that. Those are all places to eat. Why don't I bring us some burgers and we can go see a movie? Okay, I'll wait for you outside the shop. Let's just go to food places. Thanks for everything. If you hadn't helped me, I wouldn't gotten out of, uh, wouldn't gotten anywhere with anyone. Looks like getting turned down all those times helped me grow a bit of a backbone. Glad to hear it. Keep it up, kid. Before you go, take this. I brought it in hopes that it'd make me more popular, but I don't need it now. What the fuck were you gonna do with a slightly battered Italian shoulder bag? Why does everyone keep giving me these things? I 
I feel like I got like a handful of bags sitting in my fucking box. Some that I've bought for this? I mean, I guess it might have made them happy, but I don't know about making you popular. That's a hell of an interest. That, that looks like something I would have bought. Well, I don't have a lot of money, but since we're here... Yes, I'm do you guys have what I'm looking for? We're back! Back in business. Now I just gotta put these away, some of them, because I have no inventory space. I literally can't hold anything. Go. Yep. Now we'll have two of those. And uh, don't worry, we have our all-important milk that has been sitting in our pocket for I do not know how long. Ugh. You always love milk that uh, has survived multiple flights on a plane. This is a wild surprise. What are you doing all the way out here? I'll be asking you. Weren't you supposed to be in, uh, have a shoe? Well, sure, I was for a while. Walked all over. Hold on. Walked all over Fuoka. God, yeah, all these places trying to out different robin joints. Then I heard of that Okinawa's got some fine-tasted pork. But to make a long story short, I ended up here over here on a quest to find the best Okinawa soba. You probably wouldn't have any clues for me, would you? Actually, there's a pretty good uh, know, soba stand in the Hiroshi Arcade when you try it out. In fact, I think I will. Thanks a lot, big guy. Of gas. Came all the way here to do just to research noodles. This guy's a bit of a noodle himself. There are so many question marks along this thing. What the fuck? It's been years since our last dine and dash. How do I handle this? What happened? Wow, a dine and dasher. We haven't had one in almost 20 years. Oh, yeah? Hey, there he is over there. You guys, why? Why is this a theme? <sighs> what do I do? I can't leave the shop, and I can't let him go either. Hey, you're a complete and utter stranger. Could you help me? Sure. <sighs> Gotta catch him, right? Again with this shit. You guys just pay. Yeah, well, my stamina improved or something, because I went through training or something. I don't remember. Ice cream. Stop resisting. Come on, this is ridiculous. Ow. Knock that trash can down. I got you now. Uh, are, are you? <laughs> Hey, it's me, you know, the old Kamurocha died and dasher. Wait, you're that died and dasher? But, oh, I tried, but I just couldn't give it up. I dashed my way across Japan. Well, look how much weight I lost. What the fuck? I run a popular blog, too. Maybe you've heard of the dine and dash diet going around? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Something wrong? Never mind, just come back to the shop with me. <sighs> Pork rim noodles, bitter melon stir fry. It, came, it comes to 2,300 yen. Couldn't pay. You could wash the dishes <sighs> for me. I'm so sorry. I just couldn't help myself. 
I'll let you go this time. Remember that dining and dashing is a crime. Don't ever do this again. Thank you for bringing him to justice. I don't know what the kids are doing these days. You know? Oh, gold play. I can make some money off of that. Kind of need it. I'm broke. <laughs> I knew it'd be you. You're the only man who can catch me. Look, just give it up. <laughs> oh, yeah, my new diet made me famous. I even got a girlfriend. That manager from the middle place, remember? I've got a thing for strong women. I sort of fell for her when she was scolding me, and now we're on vacation together. So, what I'm trying to say is, I'm done for real. Today marks my final dash, because no matter what thrills I get from it, can't compare to the special lady in my life. She steps on your balls, doesn't she? I don't get it, but at least he's done. Well, since I'm here, the guy doesn't see me just pawn this off. Oh, hey. I just pawn this off real quick. Kind of need the money. I don't think I had any more plates on me. Okay. Just a lot of, I forgot. Every time I keep just thinking this just says a skin bag. I just, my bl my brain, my brain just blocks out the C part of all of that. And my Blaine. My good friend Blaine doesn't even look at it. Oops. Oh, I kind of want to sell the play. I hit the wrong button. Fat fingered both X and circle. Cutting him off and not really understanding the language just he sounds insane. Oh man, a Chinese broadsword. Oh man, Shadow's got his own weapon in here. Good for him. <laughs> Emperor Zero literally could be a blade name for all I know. Kizu-san, what a coincidence! Wait. I, I thought you were living in Tokyo. Yeah, I, I loved working at that shop, too. But I finally realized my calling. What's that? Golf. No. I want to manage an inn in Okinawa. It'll be like... It'll be a place where the tired fathers of Tokyo can come and take a load off that... That whole sentence feels dirty, but I know what you mean. Where did that idea come from? Customers at Earth Angel said that Tokyo wasn't the right place for me. They told me you should go to home to Onawa and start your own business. Wait, doesn't that mean that they don't think you're cut out for Tokyo? Uh, I don't know about that. When I told my customers about my idea, they all got super excited and said they'd absolutely come visit me. I believe when they say that, I'll make a place where the tired fathers of Tokyo can relax when they come to Okinawa. That right, not a bad idea to follow your heart and make your dreams come true. When I talked to Omiji Chan about it, she said we could do it together. See, my family used to run their own inn, but a bunch of hotels opened up in the same area and they had to close down. I know a lot about running an inn, so I should be able to help her with hers. I'm sure I'll, it'll all go well if we work together. An inn that serves the hard-working men of Tokyo. It's not a bad idea. Still, if we want to get it up and running, we're going to need money. I wonder if we should take out a loan. That's true. I think you can get started without borrowing too much money, though. Huh? But how? Your friend's family used to run their own inn, right? Well, yeah. If there are hotels all around that area, that means it's a good location. In that case, you could just remodel the old place to fit your needs. Oh, yeah. I never thought of that. Huh? You'd be okay with that? Totally fine. Plus, my parents could help us with it, too. All right. Then the money I earn in Tokyo should be enough, more than enough. Thank you, Kirisad. Man, you're so smart. I don't know about that. I couldn't tell you if it'll work. I'm sure it will. I can't thank you enough. You've done so much. Thanks to you, I've discovered my calling. Oh, I know. Here's this. Take this. It's something I brought in Tokyo. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Stop giving me your skid bag! <laughs> Gotta visit the inn once we're open. You can stay for free. <laughs> See ya. I don't want to stay. Stop giving me these fucking bags. Nah. Oh, 
god, the English lady. Ah, oh, you're the man from before. I was watching you work your magic. It looks like you're pretty well acquainted with that beautiful brunette. I guess so. However, it seems like a language barrier is preventing you two from becoming as close as you could be. Which is why I'll offer you Intermediate Handbook at the low, low price of 20000 Handbook focuses on direct communications between close friends and even more intimate relationships. I'm sure you, you just gotta have it, right? I feel like I'm being scammed, but yeah, sure. I like to see where this goes. And I really don't have the money for this. Okay, this section is about conversing with a lover. I don't want to go home tonight. I don't deserve your love. Way too cheesy. <laughs> Be a real player if you can chatter up in English, you know. After all, there are some things you can only say in English that can show her how stylish and cultured you are. There's nothing about it. Nothing. Of was... By the way, I hear a lot of foreigners hanging out at the bar in Hasamuchi called Aqua Sky. Well, as they say in English, have a nice day. I love that English is just really spaced out. But my dad's getting threats from the scary guy. Yeah. Finally made up this crazy story saying my dad dented up his car in Hatsumachi. And he forced him to sign an agreement saying he'd pay all, all the damages. There's a bunch of scary dudes showing up at our house every single day looking for the money. That's not right at all. Shouldn't you talk to the police about this? We tried, but since my dad signed the agreement, apparently there's nothing they can do about it. Ever since then, my mom's a nervous wreck. We have to move to my grandma's house in Tukushima just to get away from all the stress. But you promised we'd all graduate together. I know, I'm sorry. At this rate, I probably won't be able to get in the same college either. Uh, yeah. What are you doing? You know that every fountain in Italy? They say if you throw a coin in there and make a wish, it'll come true. Well, this river is an Okinawan version of that, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Never heard anything like that before. Doesn't hurt to try, does it? I wish that we could all be together forever. You throw one, too. Okay. Hiya! Hiya! This is your fault. Don't feel too down. The bad guy's fault here. Yeah, try to cheer up. I know, why don't we get something to eat? That's the best thing. Put food in your stomach when you feel stressed out and, and your stomach is killing you. Sounds like some con men have a car set up on the Hatsumachi as a money making scheme. Alright. Oh. It's really nice. <laughs> it's not what I wanted to look at at all. Want to look at uh, all the places again because this is that place. There's nothing here. Machi's over there, so we'll go check it over here. Oh. So I gotta check out. Oh, I knew you wanted to fight. What the fuck are you glaring at us like that? You want me to fucking deck you? I don't have any cards. Good luck decking me if I don't even have cards to begin with, pal. God, they have to constantly repay for this window. Is that a bottle you have? Is he gonna hit me with that bottle, Tamari? Don't worry, your bottle will not go in vain. Where's the guy? That's just rude. <laughs> You'll be fine. Yeah, you'll be okay. Oof. I was gonna say, you better not hand me a fucking bag. There's somebody forced to pay card damages here. Hey. Hold it right there, dude. I saw you damage my car and don't give me that. <laughs> Just stabbed not violently. If I had enough heat, I was I was like, I want to do a heat action with it. I think there might be one. If not, I was going to wait for him. <laughs> I'll just punch him. 
Don't give me the who me bullshit. If I damage your car, then where's the damage? Take a good look. It's all dented up right here. Jeez, look how bad that is. That's gonna cost a fortune. Get your ass over to the office so we can talk this over. Here, I'll even walk you. Ain't I a stand-up guy? Looks, I don't know why. His hair with his sunglasses, his face shape, just reminds me of a person in real life, and I don't know who. Or at least my imagination of what I think is somebody I've seen before. So how much is it going to cost to fix it up? Well, we buffed out the inside, plus cost fresh new coat of paint. I figure it'll come to about uh, 2 million yen, just a ballpark figure. Huh? That's a high-end sports car you fucked up there, pal. Didn't you hear? The entire body's going to be redone just to make it look half decent. You sure know an awful lot about car repairs, don't you? Shut up. Be happy we're willing to sell this out of the court for a measly 2 mil. Now, now, a million yen is a fairly hefty sum, and I imagine you can't pay it all right away. So how about this? For now, you can just sign an agreement that says you'll pay the, for the car repairs, whatever their final cost may be. And who knows? Maybe it'll end up being cheaper than we thought. Maybe even around 10000 or so. What do you say? I'll sign and see what happens. Uh, no. Are you kidding me? I'm not signing anything. I'm terribly sorry to hear that, but I'm afraid we can't let you leave it with this office without signing. After we're through with you, you'll practically be begging to sign the paper. Whether in ink or in blood. I'd love to- I would have signed it, because I feel like I'm just going to get jumped all the time. But no, I'm going to beat you guys up now. Here you go. This is what you wanted to do, asshole. They didn't say whose blood is going to sign the contract. They said it's going to get signed one way or another. Well, maybe they said mine, but either way, who's going to know? I like this guy just not giving a shit. Have a seat. Not thirsty right now, but thank you, DK. <laughs> the hell did you find this freaking lunatic? So you pretend that people dent your car in order to pressure them into paying? I know, I was making a joke because my brain went to sangria and I'm like, is that a drink? <laughs> so you pretend that people dent your car in order to pressure them into paying up and then have them sign a phony agreement in order to seal the deal? <laughs> That's basically our entire scheme, so yes. Then you better stop with this nonsense right now, or else you're the one that's going to be needing the dents buffed out of you. Yes, sir, I'm really sorry about this. Be out of your hair immediately. Oh, please take this. I hope you can put this behind us. Oh, thanks. It looks like an average blue marble to me. I don't know if I need that on me, but... be honest, I'll put it in my inventory, but I need to get rid of the other shit that's in my fucking pockets. I think it's just a building material. One of these out. Here. For now. I have multiple, so they're not that important right now. All right, then. Yeah, this looks like a place I want to hang out. Yeah, and this all just feels like a setup. What are you? Oh, darts. Oh, billiards. What's this? You over here again? Oh, kitty son. Hey, how's it going with the Indians? Oh, great. Right now we got contractors remodeling the family home. My dad is ecstatic. He's excited to give the end one more try. Think you'll make some money out of it? Here's the thing. When I called my customers in Tokyo and said I was going to start an inn, reservations started flooding in. We're going to be booked for an entire year after we open. Wow, that's amazing. First, I thought people from Tokyo weren't very friendly, but I'm so thrilled I've met so many warm-hearted people there. 
Uh, your kindness and sincerity won their heart or trust. Now you just gotta make sure they don't let them down. I won't. Better come visit us once we open. I never knew Japan could be so lonely. I still feel like this is all a setup. Woman from before, and she looks fucking crazy. Oh, we've met a few times now. Funny how we keep running into each other. How about we grab a drink? She'd be inviting me out for a drink. My name's Stacy. Hi, Stacy. I'm Kiru. Kazuma Kiru. What a name. I wonder what it means. I wish I knew more Japanese. Here goes. You are always so kind to me, Kiryu. You always help me when I'm in trouble. You know, Kiryu, I don't want to go home tonight, Giggle. Seems to be inviting me somewhere. Unless I'm totally mistaken, there should be some kind of phrase I could say in this situation. It's in that handbook. Someone says they don't want... Why is my mouth moving if I'm thinking? I guess I'm just mumbling this. When someone says they don't want to go home tonight and they're out drinking with you and they happen to be a beautiful woman, then the best thing to say would be, I love your English. I love you. I don't deserve your love was, uh, was the thing. I don't deserve your love. But you do, you do more than you know. I'm impressed. Your English, it's amazing. Ever since you helped me, I can only think about you. Nothing but you, Kiryu. Here, please accept this. Come on! I don't want all these fucking jewelry and- I, mean, I never use gifts. Will I see you again? I don't know. I have so many necklaces and bags. I was in English most of the time, even if I was just winging it. Yes, hey, pal. Uh, since I'm already here... Um, give me the beef eater. <laughs> beef eater is a gin drinker's gin. Enjoyed in 170 countries around the world. It's popular straight up wearing cocktails like the martini. I bet that any bar you walk into has at least one bottle of this stuff waiting. It's got a full gin duper flavor. Yep. I always forget how to say this. I know it, but whatever. With a fresh citrus bite to it. Personally, I love it in a gin and tonic. Sounds like I just drank the whole bottle. Well, I do like getting dr drunk, so I, I must be getting drunk. Uh, so that I can beat people up, so with my... I read this as lemon heart diarrhea, so I'm gonna drink it. This is a nicely balanced medium grade golden rum. Demaro Rum is a well known brand produced in Guyana on a, along with the uh, along the Demara Demaria whatever river. God, this really stretches my inability to read. Which lies in the northern part of South America. It's fermented and distilled along the banks of the river. Then it's aged and blended in England. This brings out a bright yet deep aroma and a flavor that's powerful yet elegant. It's faint, refined sweetness. Definite crowd pleaser. Oh, God, I think I've had enough, man. But like whiskey. This is another extremely popular Japanese whiskey. Spirits aged in, a sher in sherry barrels at the Yamazaki Distillery are blended with carefully selected malts and grains. This yields a bright aroma and a sweet fullness in the mouth, and the finish is deep and mellow. Oh, well. Thank you. I call it Daruma because of the round shape looks like a Daruma doll. I am I got full health. Thank you for your business. Oh, by the way, have you heard of a certain bizarre appetizer? What certain bizarre appetizer? Wait, it, it's this salt. Wait, it's just salt? Close your eyes and give it a taste. You'll understand. 
It's not just salt, it tastes sweet as well. Is this really salt? Salt something else. I s can see how it really enhanced the flavor of the alcohol. It's a special salt called Rouge Salt, which is made on a remote and on an island. It's made by one particular old man, so it's not sold anywhere. I thought you of all people would know it was the real deal, so I gave you some special, some special service. It's the last assault that was made this year, so you'll have to wait until next year to enjoy its sweet taste once more. Now that I look forward to seeing you again. I mean, I should have made some time looked up. None of it worked. Of course it doesn't want to work. Your system doesn't like video games anymore. It didn't even like trying to play chivalry. Guess what? So those guys that were threatening my dad, they suddenly up and left downtown looking for good. They even went to their office with his lawyer and it was completely deserted. Oh, that's wonderful. Now you don't have to move anymore. Can't get back the money they took, but at least there won't be any more psychos pounding at our door. People around town are saying that this big, ripped, scary looking guy really th thought those guys a lesson. Who's really intoxicated. Well, I think those coins we tossed the river really made our wishes come true. Maybe, and if that's the case, this could be the last of the seven mysteries of the downtown. We had the curse lockers, the golden pork. Now, if three people stand on the bridge and toss a coin in the river, they'll get their wish granted. We just made up one of the seven. All this excitement's got me starving. Let's go grab some food. That ripped, scary-looking old guy they were talking about be me? Ah, oh, there's something under the railing. Don't- Oh god, this guy wanted me to blow. Must be a lucky coin. I'll keep it as compensation for getting to the bottom of all these mysteries. Got a lucky coin. Yeah, no more games. You're not allowed. Is there a reason for the- Like, what does this give me if I equip it? Either way, I'm going to put it away for now with my necklace that I keep getting these. Friends, computers, like, you're only allowed to play Mountain Blade or RimWorld or anything single player, but no, no multiplayer games. <laughs> well, maybe you heard something about it being in this area. Nope, don't think so. Whatever ended up... Getting buried all those years ago is probably still in the ground. Besides, isn't the Yamashita a treasure just an urban legend? <sighs> As well, I suppose the series has changed quite a bit over the years. Now I'm in a pickle. I need to be heading back to Ichi next week. I have no idea where to look next. Something wrong, old timer? I couldn't help but over uh, here. Oh, I'm actually search. I'm on a search treasure hunt. It's more like it. Treasure hunt, really? <sighs> Why, sure. Here. Take a look -see. I've got a map and everything. God, I'm not, like, j just like with John trying to figure things out in Kingdom Come, I can't figure this shit out. But, sure. I've had it this whole time. See, this is a map of the treasure my friends and I buried when we were stationed in Okinawa during the war. Okay, and what is this uh. treasure? Well, we were being evacuated at the time, so we buried whatever we couldn't carry to light and light. Ever heard of this one? The story of the Yamashita treasure? You know, all that gold the army buried? Uh. This map here is the location of that very same treasure. <sighs> we all said we'd come to dig it up after the war, but then we got so caught up in the... I guess you'd call it the aftermath that we never made it back to what was ours. I ain't much, but I ain't got much le time left in the world, but the thought of, it, of claiming the treasure still haunts me. Please, will you help an old man find his lost fortune? Right here on this map, I swear. It, or I'm as good as dead. I'll help. Ugh. Once you find this treasure, I'll make sure to get you get your share. Well then, here's a copy of the map. Let's split up and search. Give you a call. Uh, I'll give you my cell phone. Call if you hear anything. Oh yeah. 
Make sure you call me when you find the treasure. I won't be pulling any fast ones. Who wouldn't like it if I'm fast? Somebody's trying to fight me. And now it's him. This guy just says I'm reeking of alcohol. I'm not that drunk. You're drunk. How dare you say I'm hung. Drunk Arana! Get up, you want to smoke? Get up! Oh my god. You know I needed that. Sweep the leg. Yeah, gotta pick up a can. Hands fell. I gotta look at a message real quick. Fucker just gave me a crushed old magazine. Right. What I've always wanted. Hey, thanks for the directions. I finally found the spot. Here you go. One heap of help, a pipe and hot. Good soba, and since you seem so enthusiastic about it, I add a little extra pork on the house. Stuff's incredible, heck. Every day for the rest of my life, it's still get evidence for more. What was that? I could not want for braised pork, but man, it's a real treat. Did you know they simmer it with the skin left on? It's to die for. College it oozes from the pig skin straight in the mouth. Your deliciousness right there. It's like a supernova sweet succulent. That good, huh? Well, I'm glad you found something you liked. Wait a minute. Now what? This is it. This is exactly what I need. Holy shit. I had a vision. Brain blast. Vision of pigskin. It's this collagen, you see? This is what my instant robin's been missing. If I usually wrap the pork bone marrow in collagen rich pig skin, yes, I can taste it out. This will be the foundation of Kaiju's number one star stellar Mitsu broth. Just screaming in front of this person's booth. All I gotta do is whip up a sample with pig skin, and the owner will be singing my praises from here to Karocha. Wait until they see the look on his face. That was some kid. He ate a total of ten bulls. What the fuck? Ooh. It's you. You're part of the Ryudo family, aren't you? What? Boy, am I glad to see you. I can't handle this alone, so I was thinking of asking Agahara san for a favor. Not with the yeah? family. But I could have sworn I saw you step in uh, Agahara san's office the other day with Riki kun and his pals. I can't deny that. And you and uh, Harasad are at least acquainted. acquainted, right? I have a feeling I'm not going to like this, but go ahead. First off, my name is Taichi Kayan, and I run the public market here. Lately, there's been some black market deals going down here. It's been causing us some trouble. Kind of deals. Remote wildcat trafficking. That's that's right. All cats are endangered species protected by law that's only found in Okinawa. Few dedicated collectors are willing to pay dealers insane amounts of money for it. And they've been making deals here in your market. Mm. That's right. I don't have the expertise needing to bring these criminals to justice on my own. I mean, you contacted the police. I can't do that. If I can get if I get the law involved, they'll figure out there are shady deals going on in my market. They'd shut us down for days. Think of all the business we'd lose. I won't have it. As the public market's president, I have to get this solved without closing us down. I'd be willing to pay for your trouble. You'd be really helping the locals out. What do you say? 
Alright, I'll help. Thank you. What do you exactly do I have to do? My biggest suspect is on the second floor as we speak. You've already got a suspect picked up? Yes, he's a fat man with a green hat and a red Hawaiian shirt. He always shows up in those clothes whenever the Wildcat deal is going down. Fat man with a green hat and a red Hawaiian shirt. He's always carrying a big cage. You know, like a carrier. Kind of people carry pets in. Probably keeps the Wildcats in there. All I have to do is look in the cage to know if he's guilty. Well, you think so, but I thought I caught him red-handed once but when I looked at the cage, it was empty. Caught him after the deal. Could be, but there's no point in catching the bastard without any evidence. Catch him before he makes the deal. Yeah, this is a lot to put on my shoulders. Maybe I just came in here for some pork. Oh. the hell? Guy in a red Hawaiian shirt? What? Ah, oh, no, which one could it be? Oh man, I can't remember. <laughs> oh god, why that that is just so odd. Why are there three dudes with the same shirt just chilling? Hmm? What? You the one making the wildcat deals or what? <laughs> man, without proof you ain't got shit on me, pal. Huh? You got proof, show me proof. The red shirt you got on. The cage you got there. Wildcat stuffed in there, right? You got crack numb nuts? Ain't nothing in that cage. Take a good look. Look. Doesn't look like he's already made any transactions. Happy? Now fuck off. Hmm. Huh? Thought I told you to fuck off. You ain't got huh? nothing on me. You got proof? Show me proof. The red shirt you got on. That red shirt you got on. Ha, you mean the same shirt all those other dudes are wearing? Ugh. I need more proof than that. Yeah. The red shirt that everyone else huh? wears. I thought I told you huh? to fuck off. You want proof? You want to show me proof. I don't need proof. I don't need any proof. The fuck you don't, buddy? If I start a commotion here with you, your partner's gonna come running in. Then I catch him and it's all over. Get the fuck out of here, man. You... Oh... Uh. Looks like your man's right on cue. So. This shirt's too big for you to f Or shit, not shirt. This shit's too big for you to fuck up, man. I'm gonna grind your ass up into cat food. Don't touch my ass. And also, your shirt is too big. Black market pet broker. He's got a knife! <laughs> what the hell is this? Economy size extreme spike. There you go. What, you don't like my spice? Non lethal. Non lethal. I swear, it's all non lethal. I don't even know what I did, but take that! <laughs> Damn it, we're so screwed! I told you this was a good place to do business. Meow. Meow. Ooh. You hear that? That's a wildcat. The guy in the red shirt was trying to pick up the wildcat for the seller. Eh? Buzz? The real dealer is this guy in the cheap suit. It all makes sense. That's why the cage was empty when I checked the man in red. Check before the deal went down. So... Crap. Anyway, looks like we got two birds with one stone this time. I say we made out pretty good. And one of them drank your economy-sized extreme sauce or whatever. And I'm still slightly tipsy. You handled it quietly? Did you just say I fucking caused a ruckus? Look at everyone coming up the stairs and turning right around. There's been a problem here. Cops are willing to wait until the after-closing hours to investigate. Detective was pretty upset I didn't report the crime in the first place, though. It sounds like everything turned out okay, and your reputation's still fine. That's right, it's all thanks to you. Here's 50,000. Like you could have given me a little bit more. I'm glad I could help. Uh, how the fuck do 
until I get out again. Get me out of here. I'm surprised how cheap this is. This looks good. Here we go. See, they should have just gotten me to do the random voices for everyone in the background. Oh my god, that's so cool! Oh man! Oh wow, we're having the four few drinks, huh? I love- uh, buddy, I'm just a little bit out of it. I'm not that drunk. Can I have your tank top? Drunkarana! Bitch! Now we'll do the Kidu 619. <laughs> Dial it up. Did you see this? There's a cooking shop sign. You're missing out on some great food. The deals are to die for, but non lethal. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, I have a fucking eerie stuffed toy for some reason I had. Why is it sticky? I'm leaving. Alright, put this shit away. I don't fucking need this. Weapon dealer guy or whatever and all that shit's here. Maybe I should check in on some stuff. I do have, like, a shotgun that could be, uh... You can just ignore me. I have a shotgun that could be used for uh, getting some ammo back, I guess. Anyway, I took care of your friend. That dude in the back in that pink shirt and pants, that looks like my waiter. <laughs> Being attacked by someone's waiter. So, are we doing this? <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> Shouldn't have grabbed me. Now you have your arm up deep inside the waiter. Okay, I'm sorry. Here's a low quality toughness. This is just. Please stop hurting me. Make it stop. <laughs> Eat it, but... I don't know, just see what you had. I still have to, like, go, I think, get training by that guy in the fucking beach, too. You have a shotgun? What more do you want? It's a shotgun. Wonder. I wish you could, like, see the stats. There's nothing here that tells you without stuff. Like, I know what mine does, but what does... I'm assuming swap body armor is better than iron breastplate. So I maybe might buy that so I have a better chest piece. Stronger than iron, is, I'm sure you know. I have it, but it makes me sad. You know what? Let's go for it. I'm gonna fucking buy it. Definitely gonna be better. Crap. Uh, anyway, this.
Place matches the address of the tuna fund. Just life. Okay. Uh, pardon me, sir, but are you? Wait, is this the office for the tuna fund? The tuna fund? No, sir, it's not. A lot of people have been asking that lately. Something going on with this tuna fund group? That's why once I go back to Kenrocho. Oh, good. So I'll have to go back, ask around. I need my fucking money. can leave now. Oh god, not this guy again. You're back again, really, what is with you? <sighs> Saw the loan thing turned out to be a scam, just like you said, they almost got me. That's so good for you seeing it through. <laughs> or through it. Oh no, I can thank you. you. Escaped that scam, what are you doing back here? A friend of mine's also in debt trouble, says so I rub my tummy. He asked if I, if he could borrow just 10,000 yen to help him pay off, I gave it to him as a good friend should, but right after the f this friend of mine skipped out. Since I paid 10,000 on his loan, the loan company is holding me responsible uh, for my friend's loan. I never even wanted to be his whatever, coordinator or whatever, but now they're demanding I pay the rest off of his loan. How were you thinking? You were about to kill yourself over your own debt? Why would you think, why would you, think you could help your friend with his? <sighs> a lot of trouble and I of all people would know how stressful that kind of debt can be I feel bad for him what am I gonna do with you <laughs> sorry oh boy all right fine just take me a loan shark you borrowed from I might be able to work something out for you really I'm already too involved I can't just abandon you now <laughs> thank you Loan shark we borrowed just this way follow me all right let's see if we can hash something out spoilers probably not 